did we say nifty 50? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia and today we're gonna talk about this 50 mil because the discussion is still ongoing. Everybody's saying this is the perfect focal length because it represents clearly exactly the same things that you see with the naked eye and other people discussing about the need of having a bit more room around to show the action and so for street photography they would prefer 35 mil instead. I have to say, both focal lengths are perfect, but why would you use one instead of another? I have to say, I have always been a 50 mil shooter because I used to have, also when I was fully geared up with my Nikon and different glasses, the 50 mil f1.4 was my to-go lens when I wanted to be lightweight and pocketable because when you don't want to get too much gear with yourself, then probably you pick up one lens only, right? And I have to say, having started doing photography with the analog film camera, my first SLR was an Exacta, back then 50 mil was quite the standard. And so either f1.4, f1.8, whatever you want to do, right? 50 mil is good enough for portraits, it's good enough for street photography, it's good enough for almost everything. But now we are so spoiled and we can eventually crop in, we can eventually use so rude. We can eventually use zoom glasses and so I have to say 50 mil it has a bit considered less but coming from 50 mil when I got my Leica Q2 which is a 28 it has more or less the same proportions and so I felt home, I felt at ease with myself and it was good because I had more room to show facts but if I have to pick up one lens solely whether it is for night photography or for portraits, I have to say 50 mil is always a great choice. Here we will see together a few examples of pictures I've taken with that famous 50 mil f1.4 from Nikon that was small and pocketable and lightweight, while nowadays eventually it's an exercise of style and many brands also produce big and bulky 50 mil f1.2 and faster glasses which are big and heavy and so what's the purpose of having such a big and heavy glass on such a small tiny body because we have to say that mirrorless cameras are smaller than old SLRs and so basically you have a small body and a big glass and you won't use it really because when you want to have the bokeh effect f1.4 I used to have from Nikon was good enough I didn't need anything more than that and when you use for street photography you close down to f6 f8 f11 and so it's not worth the money and the size and the weight to go around with such a big a new glass despite i have to say there are a few examples like the sony 50 mil f1.2 which are performing quite well and so in the very end it's just a choice. To me, 50 mil, it's a cheapo glass. It's a good for all solution. And as you can see, I enjoyed it all so much. Not so much for traveling, but for the city and for portraits, of course. And then when the lights go down and you need some help with the F aperture, then it's the right solution. But otherwise, nowadays with mirror LED cameras, they all perform quite well with ISO, so there's no need to have such a fast glass anymore. Let me know down here in the comments if you're using an F whatever 50 mil or not, which is your focal length preferred. And I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it on your social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos to come. And I guess I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.